Let's change the appearance of our menu with CSS. Here in this video, I'm going to write the styles for the mobile version, the tablet, and the desktop version. So it's going to be a, well, hopefully not a very large video, but, but it's not going to be really, really short. First, I'm going to add some space here in the nav. You can see we have this contact. Oh, so it's really, really tight in the with the red, but we don't have many space there. So I'm going to add a selector header nav and I'm going to add a padding bottom of 20 pixels. 20 pixels and let's save and reload. Now you can see that we have some breathing space right here. Next, I'm going to add an the styles for the mobile version for this theme. For example, if I make this smaller, let's add the header nav ULLI, and this is for each list item. So I'm gonna add a display block. Next, I'm gonna add a width of 100%. I'm gonna center this text. Text align, center. And finally, I'm going to add a, part, a margin bottom of 20, oh, 5 pixels. So let's save and reload. Now you can see we have this each item in the menu center. And this is great for the mobile version. So let's continue working. Let's add header nav, ul, li, a. Now we're targeting each anchor tag. And we're going to add a, well, the color is white. We have the color right here. So let's remove this and add color and the color is going to be white next I'm going to make this font bigger so I'm going to add type font size 80 pixels and I'm going to add font size 1.8 rem and this rem you can see it's the same the same that we added here in pixels just divided by 10 this is why we added this font size as 62.5% and here the font size at 100% 140%. This way we can use this kind of this. Added this here in the as pixels and then we added this as rem, just dividing this by 10. So this is one of the things that I'm gonna show you. Next I'm gonna add text decoration on in case one of the well one of the old browser doesn't pick the this this right here so let's add this text decoration on and finally let's add a padding of five pixels at the top and the bottom and zero pixels on the left on the right so let's say and reload now you can see we have the font for this menu for each menu item a little bigger don't want the to show this menu item this footer menu in the mobile version so let's add footer nav and i'm gonna add display none so i'm gonna hide this navigation next i'm gonna add a footer hr because i have this line right here so i'm gonna style this now so i'm gonna add border two pixels solid and the color i'm gonna choose is 100622 so let's save and reload now you can see that we have remove the navigation and we have this line right here so finally i'm gonna add footer p and the class of copyright so i'm gonna center this text text align center and let's save and reload and it's nothing working as because we have the div is the copyright so let's add div and let's add this as footer p now we can see it's working and let's add a bigger font so let's add font size of 80 pixels and font size 1.8 rem now we have this Toronto line okay let's style this for the tablet version and the desktop version so i'm gonna scroll a little bit and here we have the media queries here i'm gonna add the code to achieve this here in the 768 pixels let's add header nav ul li and i'm gonna add display in line and i'm gonna add a margin left of 20 pixels so let's save and reload 
Now you can see the the anchor tags are aligned one right after each other. If I make this smaller, you can see that the menu items goes one below each other. Next, I'm gonna add some styles for the footer. So I'm gonna add here, let's say here, footer nav, display block. I'm gonna show this for the 99 two pixels and above. Next, we create this margin uh, margin top of 30 pixels. And we're gonna add each menu item right after one each other or right after each other. So let's add nav, ur, ul, li, and let's add display in line and a margin ray of 20 pixels. So let's save and reload. Now you can see we have this navigation right here. So I want to make this a little bigger. So let's add footer, nav, ul, li, a. And I'm gonna add the color, and the color is gonna be the same. So let's add it. Font size, I'm gonna use a 16 pixels, and also the font size 1.6 rem. And finally, let's remove the decoration in case one of the browser doesn't support this. So we have this about us, what to visit or blog, and contact us. So finally, let's add some code for the for this logo. And I'm gonna add a comment right here. This is this footer navigation. And also I'm gonna add for the header navigation. So I'm gonna copy this and paste it right here. And I'm gonna add header that logo. And this is the class for the logo. And I'm gonna add a width of 30 percent, 40 percent, and float left. Next, I'm going to add the header nav and I'm going to add a float left, also a width of 60% and a margin top of 16 pixels. So let's save and reload. Now you can see we have this torrent online logo and we have the navigation aligned one right after each other or they are together aligned horizontally. Finally, let's float these items to the right. And I'm going to add header nav, ul, and I'm going to type float right. Now we have this navigation aligned to the right. If I make this smaller, in the tablet version, you can see we have the logo bigger and we have the navigation. Uh, well, the navigation drops at the, at the bottom. And finally, let's test this in a mobile device. For mobile device size, for example, and you can see we have the logo and we have the navigation one right after each other. You can see that the design fluids and now we are well declaring this in style sheets or these media queries. We have successfully implemented the mobile fields approach. So it's kind of well, kind of like the same. Well, not kind of like the same, but it's some work, hard work that we have to do. But believe me, adding mobile fears in your designs or in your teams is something that really, really works. And it's something really, really important because Google is ranking this website better these days.